previously on the last door. After escaping from his burial, David finds himself in a cellar of London's darkest slum, the old nickel rookery. In his pocket, he has a ticket for a show called The Four Witnesses. Oh, crap. Let's try that again. Devitt walks through the misty streets following a strange man who seems to guide him. He learns the legend of Simurg, King of the Birds. Following its trail through a dreamlike land of fog, Devitt finally meets Alexander, a member of the secret group Devitt and his friends had at school. Alexander welcomes Devitt and speaks of an entity called the bird that has been calling them ever since the experiment they conducted back then. There is no turning back. Oh, I can move apparently. I have made my mind. I am ready. Go on. Do it. Do it! Do it! I'm still gonna do one more chapter here, so you didn't miss everything. If you've already seen the game, fine. If not, you're already on chapter 3, so I would watch from the beginning. Can you see all these stars twinkling in the black outer abyss? All the constellations traced by human eyes in long distant eras? Look now to the forest in the valley, to the old tower. From the last tree in the distance, to the stars in the sky, and even the stones beneath our feet are just silhouettes that hide the truth from our poor senses. Ancient shadows hang over the veil that hides the world, as if it were the curtain of a theater. The veil separates the truth from the lie. The veil is a place, Devitt, a place of mists. Anthony's great abilities brought you here, but his influence will soon fade away. The mask of lies will descend over your eyes once again. You must find the door, as I did. The door that gives passage through the veil. Open it, and we will walk together beyond the mist. I suppose you're wondering why I called you so urgently. I cannot deny it, your letter was truly mysterious. 
I have been traveling, Doctor, to Scotland. Have you heard about the massacre of St. Gall? Why, yes. Tragic event has been the continued object of speculation and grim rumor in every newspaper in England. For weeks now, pamphlets have claimed that all kinds of macabre things took place. But I don't understand. How's all this connected to my patient? He was there. I am afraid he is one of the victims. Dear God! Are you telling me that my patient has been murdered? Murdered? Thankfully, no. Please excuse me for alarming you. I did not mean to give such an impression. Herr David, or let's see, Herr David was attacked but survived. What happened to him then? It seems the criminal was caught by Herr David in the midst of the act. Then he tried. Tried to do the same thing to Devitt that he had done to the others. Fortunately, the nuns arrived in time to unearth him from the coffin ere Devitt was hospitalized. The nurses report that he remained unconscious for an entire day. What was Devitt doing there? Many years ago, the St. Gall Hospital was a boarding school. It appears that both your patient and Mr. Beechworth spent a part of their youth together there. We can assume that Herr Devitt was investigating something. He believed he had found a clue related to his friend's death. Was the cause of those... What was the cause of those awful deaths? No one knows for sure. The victims were inflicted with terrible wounds. All of them had an expression of utmost terror on their faces. I suspect you did not find Mr. Devitt at the hospital. Indeed. He was already gone by the time I arrived. I have not been able to determine his whereabouts since. I see. What conclusions do you draw from all of these circumstances? I have some theories, but I would prefer not to reveal them until events have unfolded. All of them. There is a fundamental element whose role has not yet been revealed. And what leads you to that to this conclusion? It is something that the Holy Sisters found beside Herr Devitt within the coffin. An empty hypodermic needle with traces of an unknown substance. Episode 4 Ancient Shadows I'm sure this is the place. Alexander's house must be just ahead. The ancient castle of Pevensi rests in the distance. It was a garrison first built by the Romans, but was abandoned and then er, and has been a ruin ever since. Guess it's like a greenhouse, maybe? Over there? It's latched. I can't open it from this side. No one is answering. Perhaps I should go inside anyway. I'll just tell the household that I am an old friend come to visit. Yes, do that. Why don't you do that? Thank you. Footsteps. There must be someone upstairs. Alright, well then let's not go upstairs. A couple of old teacups sit on the table. One of them is full and still warm. Oh, I was hoping I could... Just yoink some tea. An oil lamp. <laughs> A mine lamp? Just some old bottles.
An ancient stone well. A rope hangs inside, disappearing into the darkness below. You mean my rope? The rope is broken. I'll keep this end. Mine! The bare branches of a tree stretching into the sky break the night in a thousand pieces. I really like when this thing has very poetic writing. I really like the the visuals. Looks like someone was buried here. Oh, well, why not? Cell the door is locked. I need a key to open it. Usually. Usually if it's locked, that's the case. Not always, but usually. Pantry with spices and ingredients. It's a diary. This is the last thing written. The last pages have been ripped off. It's been a while since I can't devote any time to this diary for reasons beyond my control. An event most tragic has taken place in this house. Mr. Dupre has gotten ill, immersed in an everlasting stupor from which, it seems, he shall not return any time soon. Since the accident, I patently take care of him, or I patiently take care of him. The doctor's treatments don't seem to do any good. I feed him like a child and make sure that all of the sculptures in the house are turned towards the wall. What else can I do? The clockmaker just left. He has done such a good job. In the end, Mr. Dupre is not going to be able to notice the change in the clocks that he so insistently requested. In this state, time will not be a problem anymore. Looks like a diary of a member of Alexandra's household. What happened to them? Seems like finding a lantern is like a pattern to these. Is there anything over here? Hey, grandfather clock again too well-crafted grandfather clock, but it seems to be out of order. One of the hands is missing. Alright, so we have to figure out what the time is supposed to be, I'm guessing. The silhouette of a man. It bears a strong resistance to Alexander. The silhouette of a woman. A figurine of an angel facing the wall. It's an official stream, you guys! That's most likely my grandma calling, like she always does when it's unnecessarily late. Alexander! Alexander! It's me, Devin! I'm sorry if I startled you. Is everything all right? Why are you sitting in a wheelchair? Are you hurt, maybe? Can you stand? He is staring blankly at some distant point, as if he has not heard my question at all. You told me I should come here, and I came as soon as I could. Can you tell me what is happening here? He gives no answer, but persistently stares at something nearby. He appears to be in some sort of hypnotic trance. When I was downstairs, I could have sworn I heard footsteps. Were they yours? Was there someone else in that house? For a moment, I felt a flash of hope that he was looking at me. But he is unresponsive. Alexander, please, say something. I don't know what to do. I don't understand. What's happened to him? Well, if he's looking at something, what's he looking at? miles away. 
A misty dock overlooks a gray ocean. Gulls wheel overhead. This cuckoo clock is covered with dust. Seems to be missing an important piece. The bird. Face the clock has been turned. Oh, wait. What's the time say here? It says... 11.15 The table holds nothing but a box with the description, Laudanum, to be taken in case of anxiety. It is empty. A fine painting of a local Roman structures. It somehow seemed more ancient in this depiction. Huge chest made of oak wood locked. Oh, it's not locked. There's a large iron hook inside. Well, it's mine now! There's a fragment of a diary under the hook. I can't work in the basement anymore. Those wretched sculptures. I feel them stalking me in the darkness. I know it is not possible, but I can hear the crunches. The flapping wings. Stone grinding on stone. Their frozen paroxysms. With, the di with what diabolical art were those gestures conceived? An eternal movement of attention. An impossible struggle to get back the life they never had. I might place them outdoors in the greenhouse and let the mold devour them and wasps make nests of their hollow hearts. Okay, just, okay. Well, this... Pretty much looks like it goes with this. That's, yeah. That looked pretty much exactly like what was going to happen there. A bust with its face turned around. Picture of an angel with a gentle face. This seems an invoice. May this document serve as a record of the payment made corresponding to the following work. The cuckoo clock mechanism has been modified to give the strokes exclusively at quarter past six in the afternoon. In addition, a special device and a switch have been added to synchronize all clocks in the house. Impressive. Letter. Dear Alexander, I have excellent news. A contact from the university has given me access to a 12th century alchemical tome containing an amazing formulary. There is no doubt that sometimes mere contemplation takes the mind to places that otherwise it would have never visited. Leafing through the grimoire and marveling at the exquisite illumination of its pages, I have been struck by a sudden epiphany, a radical but elegant method that I have decided to try. Forgive me for not providing any information about the method itself. As soon as I get defin as soon as I get definite results, I will write you immediately. I believe fortune has truly smiled upon us today. Videt Nekisiat. June 8th, 1887. A large envelope of black felt, covered in dust and ashes. It is labeled with a warning. Do not open it under white light. Well, I better take that, and I will open it later. When I am in a dark room. Lamp is hanging from the ceiling. It's gold cast an intense white light.
Pack on the envelope advises against opening under a white light. Well then turn off the white light! You don't need the lantern. It's like some kind of red tinted glass cover used to mask up a lamp. It's completely shattered on the floor. What's a jar containing a yellow substance? The label reads cyanide. Well, why don't we just take some cyanide? That's great. There's a big book of home chemistry recipes. A few pages have been bookmarked and some articles are underlined. Collodion for photography. Collodion is the vehicle by which the photographic chemicals are, un are united upon the surface of the glass and the sensitive coating produced. Many formulae are published for this article to which great value is attached. Some supposing that it's that to its peculiar composition belong the principal causes of failure or success. This is only in a degree true. To develop a positive image. This is done by pouring upon the plate about one ounce of the vitriol spirit solution and only then adding five or six drops of the cyanide acid. Then the plate must be thoroughly washed in water to remove any excess chemicals. Causes of failure. They would almost require a chapter by themselves. A long experience conceives us that nine out of every ten failures occur from want of care, the presence of dirt, negligence. One cannot be over nice, careful, or cleanly. The best results always rewarding the most painstaking. If a mistake is made in order to be or in the order specified in the formulae, Quickly flow clean water over the plaque and start again. An instrument whose workings are beyond my knowledge. An image of a couple wearing rat masks at a festival. Okay! I know, I didn't mean to do that. Sure, they're just some old bottles. Are you sure? I need like a digging tool, and I need what's this? It could be Pevensey Castle, but in his painting, the garrison is not in ruins. Let's see if we can find a shovel somewhere out here by the greenhouse. Beautifully crafted steel greenhouse. It is old, but still in good condition. It better be. Old ruins lay by the path. They seem to be Roman in style. Um, dead deer? Corpse of a deer, its abdomen torn open. It looks recently dead. Well, that's no good. What happened to the poor deer? Can I take anything from this deer? I feel like in a worst case scenario, I could dig with antlers.
Then the mud and dirt inside the bucket, there was a small bird of brass. A little brass bird, shake and make noise as if there's something inside. Strangely enough, there doesn't seem to be any water in the well. Oh man. Alright, well this is the cuckoo. I'm relatively sure. Good night, Xander. some cyanide Larger over there, then? I need to find something to cover the lamp in. Something red specifically. Alright, so it needs to be at quarter past six in the afternoon. Okay, so I need to change them to say six then. Um, okay, so it won't even let me do anything with it. It just automatically exits. What do I do with this light bulb? I haven't even seen anywhere that would need a light bulb. I have the bird. This pane looks as if it had been broken from the inside. Statue of an angle with angel with his wings spread, and his head is missing. Statue of an angel covered in mold, it's glancing at me with a sad gesture. I hear something are rolling around.
Are they weeping angels? Are we are we in Doctor Who territory here? Okay, that's one way to create a black light bulb, I sub or a um, dark room bulb. I guess that's one way you can do it. I just did that to be silly. Well, I'm glad my silly has apparently video 